Hey guys, it's Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged and today we're going to be discussing the big gamer brand mouse pads. Uh, we have Logitech, Cooler Master, HyperX, SteelSeries, Razer and Corsair. Uh, we're going to give you our experience with all these mouse pads and compare them. Um, but before we get started, please make sure you hit that like button to show support and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. All right, so we've tried a lot of moss pads this year, um, and uh, we get a lot of questions when it, when, when it comes to moss pads, um, and specifically the big gamer moss pads yeah. uh, like Razer and the ones we mentioned before. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and break them down and give you guys our experience with with these. So we're basically gonna be telling you guys which ones we enjoyed the most um, yeah. and which ones we think are you know should be worth your time. Uh, well, yeah. We Basically, uh, depending on the price, you know, yeah. to the actual uh, performance, the performance, you know, yeah. like that you get on the pad, and yeah. which ones you think, you know, you guys should be on the radar for. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna tell you guys the positives, the negatives, and which ones that we like out of the uh, the, out of the brands, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into it. Start with the Steel Series QCK Edge. Yeah. Start with the, let's start with the QCK Edge. All right. So this one, when I got it, I didn't really put too much time into it, but I mm. remember it being slow. Yes. Um, but after a while i do remember that it was affected by humidity and it's yeah. it slowed down it yeah. didn't feel the same after about a week not I, w I would say like five seven five seven days dude yeah like, like about a week yeah. yeah around a week and yeah this moss pad is good but it just breaks down too fast and it gets affected by humidity too fast yes and, but when it's fresh and brand new i actually it, like it me too. it performs really well me too. If, out of all the moss pads this one feels like a t-shirt. It has this yeah, specific cloth yeah, yeah. feel to it. Yes, yeah. It feels like, like a t-shirt. Uh, like when it's new, you know what I mean? Yes. Like it feels like those fresh, you know, like the t-shirts, you know yes. what I mean? Like all like cottony. Yeah. Kind of weird. Um, yeah, I like it too. It's just that, dude, the it just wears out so extremely it fast and it, it gets affected by humidity so much. It's it does just a lot. You know, um, I wish they would really make like a pro version of it yeah. and just, you know, something that's more, you know, uh, durable. But yeah, this is not a long term mouse pad. I mean, you guys no. know right now, definitely not long term. And this is the QCK uh, Edge. This is not the heavy. A yeah. lot of people, I know a lot of people actually use a heavy and they prefer that one more over all the other two series mm -hmm. mice, uh, mouse pads. Um, but I didn't, I didn't like, I don't want to pick up a heavy because that mouse pad is 25 bucks mm -hmm. and it's and it's hardly mm -hmm. available yeah and i don't think it's worth the time well i don't think it's worth the price no for 25 bucks no uh specifically uh specifically because they're not long lasting mouse pads exactly yeah but that's the only reason why i uh i Probably get just an edge you know yeah i'd rather get an edge and see what it's like and it's 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 okay but it's not great for the value no right? so yeah. Now let's move into the Corsair one, cause okay, this yeah. one was interesting. You use this one the most, I right? I used it. I use this one the most, and uh, the the thing I don't like about the Corsair is that it always feels grainy. Mm. It always feels kind of like dirty. Kind of, yeah, kind of like there's dirt or like or or like there's like loose lint there. You okay, know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it just it just doesn't. Too. It is I don't know, dude. Like this one. Okay, the performance I got from it was yeah. okay. It nothing was surprising to me of, of it. I feel like it was. It it has okay stopping power uh i wish it had better starting power but it's actually really a really firm pad so you yeah, really can't press is. your mouse pad i mean so you really can't press your mouse down on it too much yeah. so the starting power isn't really like the greatest um it's somewhat smooth but not really again you can feel that graininess yeah. on it and it even feels a little just a little bit grainy you know yeah. what i mean like what you know what like the mouse feet on it yeah. um how much was this one how much was this, this one was, was 20 bucks yeah 20, 20 bucks tw yeah 20 bucks I I would I would honestly say this one was definitely I like I had an okay time with it yeah. but it wasn't good it wasn't yeah, great it, it, it was more, anything special it, right? nothing special yeah. um oh oh it does still get affected by humidity despite it being really thick, thick it yeah. gets affected by humidity still yeah. um uh, the other moss pads mm. that we use are similar to this right it was yes the it was glorious the glorious and the novel, and keys, and right? the novel keys yes but I actually prefer the novel keys over both of those yeah. Uh, the glorious really feels kind of like this. It's yeah. like a slower version, and it has that it has that nasty Same that texture, nasty green uh, texture, yeah that yeah. grayness to it. Except it's slower than this pad. Yeah. Um, this one's faster than than the glorious, but I do prefer 
uh, the Nalkis one because it doesn't have that mm. too weird grayness yeah, on it. Yeah, and it's it. smoother. It and it's smoother. smoother. Yeah, 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 but it still has a it's heaviness too. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but it feels yeah. it performs almost similar. Um, but yeah, I do like the Nalkis one uh, better. This one definitely yeah. is not the most impressive mouse pad that I've used. Like, yeah, I, same. Unfortunately, same. you know. Same. So now let's move on to this one. Now this one's controversial because a lot of people hate it and a lot of people like it. Yeah. So one of the reasons that I specifically like this mouse pad. Um, one of the reasons I actually like it is because it's really smooth and the speed, it, like it's, it has the right amount of speed and the right amount of uh, control. Um, and it's really smooth. But the only thing I don't like about it was that it didn't stay, cons it didn't stay the same. Mm -hmm. Like it, like the coding wore off after about a week and a half, two mm -hmm. weeks, I noticed the difference. Cause I remember at first it was smooth yeah, and buttery. It felt good. And it, it felt, felt good. really good. Yeah. The tracking was good. The, the flicks were good. It felt really nice. But after those two weeks, I noticed that graininess, muddiness, mm -hmm. and, it got, and it gets affected by humidity, humidity a quite lot. Quite fast, yeah, quite easily. A lot, yeah. dude. And for 35 bucks, I don't think it's worth the $35 price tag just because it, the coding wears out real fast and it gets affected by humidity a lot. But it's still one of my favorite moss pads. Yeah, like I, I would definitely say you get this moss pad, but definitely get it on sale. If yeah. you're going to be paying $35, yeah. Yeah, there's other really, better options yeah, out there. For yeah, like really think about it. Um, but is but it a bad moss pad? No, it's not a bad moss pad. I actually pad, like yeah. a lot. It's just that thirty-five dollars. It's it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, no. But now let's move on to the uh, HyperX. Uh, HyperX. One. This one's the HyperX uh, Fury, right? This is the Fury, this is the Fury, Fury, the regular version, not the speed version. The, yeah, the yeah. speed version, right? Speed version. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so the HyperX Fury S uh, and the S Speed um, are those two moss pads. We actually like the speed version better, right? Yeah, I actually really genuinely enjoy the speed version. Well, I like the speed the speed version yeah. uh, a lot more because um, it has this weird, soft, almost weight like feel to it. Yeah, it's very, very unique. I haven't yeah. felt that in any mouse pad, and it is slower than this one here. Yeah. Now that's just my personal, you know, uh, taste. Like yeah. I like slower pads, so yeah. clearly I'm gonna like the. Speed. Yeah, speed speed is not yeah, fast. It's yeah. just they just I don't know why they put speed in yeah. it, but it's not fast. It feels heavier when you swipe it left yeah. right, and it is slower the speed yeah. version. Um, now I do prefer this one mm -hmm. over the, the slow the slower version just because I'm more into the speed side of things. Um, but this is a good mouse pad. I think this one yeah for the price for twenty bucks it's worth it more than these mouse pads. If I'm yeah being honest. and and yeah and if I'm being honest I know there's actually quite I I don't know I see a lot more people genuinely like like good down the middle or speedy yeah, well, pads yeah, yeah. Uh, than actual slow pads. So I genuinely feel like most of you guys should definitely yeah, check this, this one, one out. Yeah. Um, if it's a little too fast for you or you just didn't like it, you know, then go ahead and try the, the speed, their yeah. speed one, but yeah. it's not really speed, it's slow. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but I genuinely feel this one was the well balanced. Um, for most people, right? Yeah, for, for most people. It's glides pretty, oh, this pad's also very uh, consistent. Consistent, yeah. I really Make didn't see a change, you yeah. know, like after a while, even I like, I, I used it for like a good five days and dude, you know, I, I play yeah. like five hours, six hours, you know, yeah. like every day, sometimes even more. Yeah. Um, so I put in time into this pad yeah. a lot and for the most part, it stayed pretty well. It didn't get the, it, bleh, what was that? Uh, it did. It did get uh, affected by humidity, yeah. but not as much as I. Uh, not as much as you. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely not as much as any of the these three down below. Because you know you were yeah. able to tell yeah. with these three, but with this one here, um, yes, tell? I was able to tell. Yeah. But I, it, it really, like, oh it really didn't stop me too much yeah. for me to enjoy the pad. So yeah, and next will be the. Uh, Razor. Oh, hold on. Uh, um, how much is the bet again? Oh yeah, this one was twenty bucks. So twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Twenty bucks. I think you can't really beat the bet. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. So anyway, ne right. next to the next pad is the Razor pad. So this one right wow. here. This <laughs> one right here. Okay, fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. I really like this pad a lot. Yep. I don't know about you. Do you like it too? I like it a lot too. Dude, I like it a lot. Too. I remember when I got it, it was slower than I remember. And I remember. Yeah, me too. I remember playing with it, and I was able to tell the difference in the X and Y. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, but uh, after breaking it down and using it, I ended up liking it despite it being more on the control side of things. I mean, yeah. I remember I, I'm more on the speed side of things, mm -hmm. right? Recently, but I can still go back to it and play really, really, mm -hmm. really, really, really well with this one for 15 bucks. I think it's a steal. Now, the only concern I do have is these edges right here, they're the non stitched. Edges. Yeah, you do see some frame, and you will get some frame if you put in a lot of time. Mm -hmm. uh, I did put in, I was using it for almost a month and then you used it for like I another, used it like, for like another uh, two weeks, three weeks. Dude, I had it. We've I put using a it. lot of time into this mouse pad. This is one of the mouse we put the most time and it's, it does get affected by humidity. Yes, it does. Um, but 
it didn't affect my gameplay. No. If I'm being honest, like not that much. Not that it, much. No. But even then, I mean, so mo so most of these pets really do get affected by yes, the cloth. Yes. But fifteen bucks, dude. Dude, you, that's I, that's the reason why it's kind of like up here. It's fifteen dollars. Yeah. And the performance and... is awesome. I yeah. love the performance I got out of it. I love it. It's it's one of my favorite moss pets. Uh, yeah. this, this that came out uh, this year, right? I think it came out this Almost year. Almost certainly came out. Yeah. This year, well, it's right? one of my favorite monsters that I've tried this year. Um. Yeah. But yeah, this one. Um. Fifteen bucks. You can't. I feel like. People can't go wrong with it, man. It's yeah, a really, really, really good, good performance good pad. pad. Now, this pad's definitely like a slow control pad. Yes. So yes. don't go in thinking of it, the uh, thinking that it's gonna be a very speedy pad. No. Um, it's a slow control pad, but I, I don't know. Like I play really well with yeah. slow control pads. Yeah. It has this muddy smoothness yeah. to it that just feels really, really, really yeah. good. Um, I enjoy my time with it a lot. Again, I, I totally like agree with you. Fifteen bucks, I think it's a no-brainer. Yeah. It's really a steal. Um, yeah, just an awesome pad, you know? Yeah, definitely want to try out for the price. I don't yeah. think you can go wrong with $15, spending 15 bucks on this mouse pad. Definitely want to try if you're into the uh, control side of things. Yep. Now let's go check out this one. Ooh, now this one right no. here. Now, I see people talk about it, but it doesn't get praised as much. Mm -mm. And I feel like it should because the performance I got out of this thing, I ended up liking it a lot, a lot, a lot. Now, okay, this is a Cordura pad. A Cordura mm -hmm. pads, they virtually don't get affected by humidity. Do I didn't notice they get affected, affected by humidity, did you? No, I remember my hot, my room being really hot and then it got really cold and it literally felt the, the same. same. Like it, <laughs> it legitimately felt the same. Yeah. It did not stop me in that one bit. And I was genuinely surprised. So this pad right here, this mm -hmm. pad is a control pad, but it's still on a little bit a, just ever so little bit on the speeder side yes, of pads, yes, it is. It is but I was genuinely surprised I was still able to play with the kind of speedy pad. Yeah, because most of these pads or the ones that I like are very slow pads. You know, yes. this is definitely not me. Yeah. But when I was playing with it, I had a, I had a, I had a really great time because yes. the going left and right is yeah. slower than going up and down. Yes. And I feel like whenever I would yes. play games, I'm usually going either like left and right, and I yes. hardly go up. Licking but and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what kind of helped me kind of use yeah. this pad, yeah. you know, be really well. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because it's slower on the X and Y. Is the the X is slower and the Y mm -hmm. is faster, and I feel like that helped. Yeah. You know, when it comes to flick shots, because mm -hmm. it was it wasn't as fast yes. as you expected. It was actually a little slower because of the X and Y mm -hmm. are different. And that's one of the things that I actually liked about the Mosspad too. I bought the Mosspad company Mosspad prior to this one, and I came into this Mosspad thinking it's gonna be like the Mosspad company mm -hmm. Mosspad, but it's actually it was better. I actually liked this one better than the Mosspad company Mosspad. This is exactly what I expected out of the Mosspad company yeah. Mosspad. It actually kind of the Mosspad company uh, Mosspad. It was not what I expected. It was no. it was it wasn't the faster side of things. Um, but I don't know. It just didn't almost no control. Yeah, very just, light. It's, yeah, it's it was very it's light. Very too. loose and yeah. light. It's yeah, kind of so crazy. When, yeah. So when I tried this one, I was like, holy crap! For twenty bucks compared to thirty five, yeah, this one's the better one. Yeah. And yeah, I this one. People don't talk much about no, this one. I feel like this one's really good. And this one is short, right? This yeah, one's yeah. Short. It's short. It's shorter than most of these moss pads that we have here. Like literally. Did the size uh, bother you? Much? Uh, I did run out of space one time. Yeah, that was just one time. Yeah. Um, but no, I, it actually didn't yeah. bother me like as much as you would think. Yeah. Um, but if that's any of your concern, right? So, but if you are uh, concerned of whether or not it being too a little bit small for you, they do have you know an extended yeah, version the, the of it. Version, you know, yeah. obviously it's gonna cost a little bit more than this one. Yeah. But either or, dude. Like I still really think this pad here this this one here I, I never thought i'll like it as much as i do yeah dude. it's a cordura pad so one it's a cordura pad yeah. meaning that uh it really doesn't get affected by humidity nope. uh almost basically none um two uh this 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 pad here is more likely gonna last you a lot longer than any of these other pads here yeah okay because yep. the fabric in here is really durable like durable. when i okay like texture wise it almost kind of feels like um have you seen you know like those cloth like uh like the cloth uh briefcases mm -hmm. you know mm. what i mean you know the ones for you to like uh, travel with i'm, I'm mm. sorry like you know like a travel yeah uh, tra uh, a travel brief briefcase. briefcase okay that's literally how that's literally how like that's literally like how like the pad yes. uh feels like you, mean, you know yes. what i mean um yes. But it's durable. It's very durable. It is somewhat spill resistant. Some of the water does seep in, yeah. but for the most part, you know, it literally, you know what I mean. For the most part, yeah. 
for the most part, uh, it does kind of run through. Oh, uh, I was actually quite surprised that uh, it does drop quite fast. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you know, so once you like get a towel or something and you yeah. take most of the water out, it does drop uh, pretty fast. I actually tested that like a few days ago without oh, really? even, yeah, without even like wanting oh, to. Oh shoot. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, oh man, let me get some towels and you know whatnot, and you know, I dried it off and well, you know, I damped it down a little yeah. bit and it dried within, not even kidding you, within like, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, it was oh, already pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. So I was like, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Again, this one. I, I just don't see a lot of people talking about this pad. Yeah. Um, this this one right here definitely for sure has to be one of my favorite pads that no. I tried this year. No, are right, those pads? Let's go ahead and, and show them which ones do we actually like and uh, like the most. So are these moss pads the ones we like the most? Um, the Gigantis V2. This will be your number three, or which one would this be on? No. So no. So my number okay. three will be the Hyper X. Hyper X. Yeah. Uh, the speed slash the regular one, mm-hmm. uh, you know. Again, I feel like most people would really, uh, really like this one over yeah. their speed one. Um, but I like them both. I think they're fantastic pads. Uh, really, uh, th- this one here is really down. Like I'm in the middle. Uh, great control, great stopping power. Uh, you guys should really look into the high brakes pads. I, yeah. I really think you guys should really look into them if you guys want a cloth pad. Yeah. Um, for twenty bucks, right? For twenty, 20 dollars, I think it's pretty solid. Um. Yeah. What's your third? My number three will be the Logic G640. And the reason the Logic G640 is because that humidity issue, the price, and the fact that it doesn't last long. The coating wears out real fast, um, but I do like the performance. That's why it's in my top three. Um, but now, second. And this literally, we there, I, I bet we literally have all the number okay. two and one at the same. <laughs> number two, I'm gonna go ahead and say number two, Razor, right? Razor, 100%, yep. 100%, 100%. Yeah, the Razor one. And it's crazy. Some of these mouse pads are more expensive are more expensive than this fifteen dollar one. Yeah. So the fact that we're letting you guys know this fifteen dollar mouse pad is basically better, better than, than other ones. M- m- better than this thirty five dollar yeah. one. Better yeah. than this twenty dollar one. Yep. Come on, guys. It's the, we're not. We're literally not lying. Yeah. Then again, it's all personal it's a, preference. It's all personal preference. But... And that's you know it goes with our play style. You know. Yeah. Um, fifteen bucks, dude. You can't beat it, dude. Yeah. And then the top one. Top dude, one, dude. I'm sorry, dude. Like. Yep. Um, it's big just brand no brainer. Moss pads, dude. It's this no one's this this one we like it more. You know why we what you know why I like this one? I like this one more. Because it's durable, it's 20 bucks, and the performance of it is actually really dang good. I got some crazy performance out of it too. I think I got a 16 kills with this moss pad on Apex Legends. I think you did actually. Yeah, yeah I think oh, I was watching. I have it, it like on Twitter, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I've been like posted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This 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 here, this right here, this moss pad. For how much? For 20 bucks? 20 bucks. 20 bucks, dude. Super durable. Uh, super consistent yep. by the way man it, this for sure for sure uh cooler master you guys did a hell of a job making this moss pad definitely my favorite cordura pad yeah a hundred percent my favorite yeah. cord- my favorite uh cordura pad i only wish and this goes for every other mouse pad uh even you know logitech even the, that one yeah. um start start saying out some different colors different flavors you guys don't have to necessarily make a new mouse pad just make different colors, you different know what colors, I mean? Yeah. People are starting to get into this a lot more. Get They're bold. starting to, you know, I mean, even mice right now have different colors. You yeah, know, dude. you buy grips for the mice, yeah. you know, that kind of match, you know, like your setup and whatnot. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my only really uh, complaint. Complaint is that it, it is it is a bland looking uh, mouse, mouse pad, pad with yeah. a purple logo here, you know, yeah. like get that out of there, you know what I mean? But yeah. other than that, solid pad, solid for the price, really long lasting. I can tell you yeah. that right now, super consistent. Yeah. Yeah, I have no com- I have no complaint. No okay, the only complaint I have what? Is oh, it's a size. It's a size. A size. That yeah. and even then, personally, I have I had zero issues. Yeah. Zero issues with it. So, yeah, we yeah, are of all the big brand moss pads, Cooler Master takes the cake. Yep. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.